It all started after the Washington Post said it talked with five former employees of New Breed Logistics. The employees say they were pressured to make political contributions to GOP candidates, money that DeJoy later reimbursed through bonuses, according to the article. If true, lawyers say that would be an illegal way to get around contribution limits to candidates. Again, this is what the Post reported. We tried to get New Bleed employees on the record to confirm or deny this. Everyone's been pretty tight-lipped. But we have heard directly from DeJoy about the claims. He was asked about it during a congressional hearing. Did you pay back several of your top executives for contributing to Trump's campaign by bonusing or rewarding them? That's an outrageous claim, sir, and I resent it. I'm just asking a question. The answer is no. Okay, here's the thing. The congressman was not asking the right question. He asked if DeJoy's guys were reimbursed for donating to the Trump campaign. But look at the timeline here. President Trump ran in 2016. DeJoy left his leadership role at the company in 2014. But from 2001 to 2014, I found government records of more than $1.6 million made in political donations by new breed employees. The vast majority of them went to Republicans. It is all of those contributions that the Department of Justice is looking into now.